One of the advantage of IP security camera system is we can leverage the existing network to install the camera. We can consider the camera and the MVR special computer. What we need to do is just hook up this device to our existing network. However, it, it could create new headaches sometimes. If anything goes wrong, you will be the first person to bring. Even it turns out the issue doesn't come from the IP security camera inventory because you just hooked up multiple IP devices to the existing network. So what is the solution? Here we got the MVR with two network ports. So we can connect one of the ports to all our PoE switch and the camera and connect the second port to the primary network. In this solution, we got the camera and the switch stay behind the MVR. So now you can tell the IT guy it has nothing to do with your IP camera system. If they don't believe, just ask them to disconnect the second port from the primary network. Now your whole IP camera system is just isolated. Your IP camera system has no contact with the primary network. Here we got a 24 channel PoE switch, which can power 24 PoE IP camera. What I need to do now is just using this punch code to connect the first port to the uplink port of the PoE switch. Now we got 24 PoE port ready, and this is the cable from the IP camera, so I'm going to pick one of the PoE port and connect to the PoE switch. Now, all this switch and the camera just stay behind the MVR. There's no physical connection to the primary network. Until now, I just I got the six. This is the cable from the primary network. So now I'm going to connect the second port to the primary network. All right, you can see the system is isolated. The only one way to go go to the primary network is through the second port. Uh, how about we need to install the IP camera to the existing network switch? In this scenario, we may need to use the switch with manager feature and create a virtual LAN, also called VLAN, to separate your IP camera system. The logic is similar. Instead of using the independent PoE switch, we will have to create a VLAN from the existing switch. Now let's go to check the setting of the recorder. This is the menu. Now we go to the system, go to the network. You can see there are two network interface cards. The first one is connecting to our primary network. The second one is connecting to our camera and the switch. You can see these two network interface cards have different subnet. So actually they cannot talk to each other. The camera cannot pass through the first Inter network interface card and go to the internet because there are no, no router, routing table between them. Alright, that's all. If you have any question, you can post in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.